Using NCP servers, having configuration in just a JSON file is not a best experience. It's actually a pain to have a different configuration for different MCP servers. Plus, it's not at all secure. You are having the access token inside of the JSON file exposed to anyone who can see the JSON file. These two problems are big on the MCP server. But we have something great which is going to solve these two problems. Introducing Docker MCP Catalog. This is a secure way to use the MCP server. But when I say secure, what was the actual problem which Docker MCP Catalog is solving? To know about that, let's go to the Cloud Desktop app. First, see the problem and then we will see how Docker MCP Catalog is going to solve that problem and makes your life easy when using MCP server. Before moving, if you have not yet subscribed to Bitfilm's YouTube channel, go and hit subscribe button to have amazing videos on AI, MCP servers, AI development like that. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit like and share with your friends. So welcome to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak. This video is all about the Docker MCP catalog and how it's going to make your life super duper easy. Let's start this video. So right now I have added two MCP servers on my cloud desktop. I'm going to show you how you can do that here. But right now I have file system and GitHub. So GitHub is having a lot of MCP server details here. And if I just query this or having a prompt on this cloud to find out the GitHub repository I have in my account with the name API in it. So I'm going to allow it. This is going to use the MCP server we have to query on my GitHub account. And now it says that you have five repositories which has API in it. That's cool. So let's try something else. Can you find out how many files I have in a folder called Bitfumes? Now I do have a Bitfumes name directory. I have many files inside it. Now, since it is also having the MCP file system server, it's going to list out all the files or how many files I have in my Bitfumes directory. So first it's going to find out. So that's why I say allow always because it's going to use the MCP servers many times. And very soon we will have the number of files on the Bitfumes directory. Now you can see Claude comes up. 10 directories are available inside Bitfumes directory. This has happened because of the file system MCP server. So let's see the problem lies when you add any MCP server to the cloud desktop or anywhere. So first of all, let's see the model context protocol servers. We have a lot of servers here. So now if you want to add the file system server, go here and you need to copy the configuration which is here and on the cloud uh, desktop configuration for MCP servers, I have added it. Once I add it, that MCP server is available here. You can also check from the setting and then go to developer and here we have two file system and GitHub MCP server. This is not a big deal. At this point, we are having no problem. The problem lies when you add a server just like we have GitHub. So if you go here, once again, search for the github and you copy the configuration from here and then you realize that hey i need to add the github token but how do i trust this configuration file where i can provide my github token which just i have provided the second big problem is for every different server we need to know the configuration and then add it here on the configuration file and then only our Cloud Desktop will understand that, hey, there is an MCP server. So for all these problem of having the security regarding the token, having the configuration of every MCP server, Docker MCP catalog is just right choice for you. Let me show you now how we can solve all these problem with the Docker MCP catalog and how easy it is to use. Now, for using the Docker, MCP catalog, you need to have the Docker desktop installed in your machine. 
Once you have this, then you need to open the Docker desktop. I already have installed it. So I can just search here Docker and here it is. Now, once you install it, make sure you are using the latest Docker desktop and go to the extension section. Here on this browse, just search for MCP toolkit and click on install. Once you install it, you will find the MCP toolkit here just below on this extensions. Okay, so here we have MCP toolkit. Now click on the MCP toolkit, it loaded. And now here you can see we have a lot of MCP servers available inside this Docker MCP catalog. So MCP toolkit is using a lot of things. And for now, I just want to show you how you can use the GitHub file system or any available MCP server directly from the Docker. But before using that, let's remove the MCP servers we have manually added to the Claude desktop. For that, I'll go to the setting, go to the desktop, click on the file system, click on delete, click on GitHub. And before removing, I can just copy the token. I am going to need it and I'm going to remove it. Now, the Claude desktop doesn't have any MCP server. So you can see this MCP servers are empty. Now, what I'm going to do now, I will go on the Docker desktop, search for, let's say, file system. I'm going to enable it. Now, when you enable, you need to provide which directory you want to allow the file system to have. So I will say I will use the user slash Sarthak slash documents and hit it and just close this one and enable this file system. Now file system MCP server is enabled on this Docker desktop. Next, since this MCP server is available on the Docker, I can go and connect the Claude desktop. I don't have to do anything on the Claude. I just need to click on the connect and that's it. Yes, I can show you that this MCP server is here. So I need to reload this Claude. So I can close it, restart the Claude. And while this Claude is starting, let me show you that the configuration we had for the Claude, see, like this. MCP server's configuration is now just having only one MCP server, MCP Docker, which is going to include every MCP server we are going to enable on the MCP toolkit of Docker from here. Okay, so since now I can see I have only one MCP Docker, which is right now disabled, but it will be enabled very soon once I see. Go here, MCP server, it's running. This is running, so why it says like disabled? Okay, let's go. We have enabled the file system. We have connected the cloud. Let's go here on the configuration. Oops, so here I need to say users. That's the correct path. And because the path was incorrect, it was having some issue. So I need to reload the cloud desktop once again. And this time it should be having the MCP server enabled. And now you can see it is having that Docker MCP server, which is including a lot of file system command. Now let's run the same prompt once again. And this time it's going to use the file system MCP server via Docker MCP server. So I'm going to allow it. And this is a very nice abstraction of MCP servers over another MCP server of Docker. Okay. And now we found the result 10 directories. We know that this is true. Okay, so that's nice, but how it's actually solving the problem, the two problem we have, the problem of exposing the token on the JSON file. And second, having different configuration of every other MCP servers. So here comes the real power. Now I'm going to enable another MCP server, let's say uh, GitHub, okay. Now I'm going to say GitHub official. I enable it, it required the token. Remember I copied the token and that's good. And it is having 38 tools inside this. So let's enable this one. Once this is enabled, then if I go here, now it's having enabled two MCP servers. One is file system, one is GitHub official, 38 tools for GitHub official MCP server and 11 tools for file system MCP server. So now if I go here, it still says 11. So I need to reload the cloud. And now you can see we have 62 tools available here. Great, that's really nice. Now, I mean, 
I'm going to have the same prompt which I used previously. And this is going to again find the repositories with API in it. But at this point, we just have only one MCP server, which is the Docker one. And on that, we have multiple MCP server. For the fun part, let's do something else. So here we have a cursor. We can also add cursor or connect cursor to the MCP server of Docker. Let's connect it. And now if I go to the cursor, you can see on this cursor setting. So how I go, I go to cursor setting like this let's zoom it out now mcp server i have all these mcp servers available for me next what i'm going to do i will go to this docker desktop search for youtube and enable this one now this is basically going to give me transcript of a youtube link a youtube video by the way okay what i'm going to do i will just ask not using the agent and i will say uh, give me the transcript of this YouTube video and now since we know that this uh, cursor is not designed for getting the transcript but since we have the MCP server for the YouTube we do have the tool for it and now it's going to use that tool see now it's asking to run this tool which is get transcript and I allowed it to run and very soon it should do some next part okay here is the transcript I built in scene Google form automation. This was a previous video and see all these transcripts are here even on the cursor, which is not supposed to do these kind of things. So that's really powerful thing you can do with the Docker MCP server, MCP toolkit, MCP catalog, whatever you want to say. It's really powerful and it's going to change the way we use the MCP server. And the best part is since we are having the credentials, all of these credentials inside this configuration, which is securely stored in the Docker desktop, we are not exposing it anywhere in just like in the JSON file. So that's why it is super secure. Since we don't have to manage the configuration or we don't need to know the configuration of every MCP server, we just enable it and we are good to go. We have a lot of configuration for different different server but we just need to enable it with a toggle button and that is making the life very very easy so if you like this mcp toolkit of docker let me know in the comment section what's your view upon it have you used the mcp servers where you have used let's just have some discussion and if you have not yet subscribed go and subscribe to this youtube channel where it's called bitfumes and like this video share with your friends who are using docker and working on MCP servers because this is a game changer thing. See you in the next video till then. Goodbye.